So one of my great joys in life currently is going out for a trail run on these forest trails. These hills make for a great cardio workout, but they also give me a good excuse to get out in the forest and enjoy these trees. Science has actually recently been taking note of something the Japanese started practicing back in the 80s called forest bathing. It's a real thing. Go ask your internets, check it out. So in addition to a good cardio workout and optional forest bathing, I've been reading a lot lately about how strength training can help improve health and longevity. Now I've never been a real fan of going out to gyms. It means you gotta go drive someplace. Uh, I'm a home buddy. Uh, but there is another option. There's these things called uh, power racks that you can get for your home. These allow you to safely um, work out at home without a spotter. You have these little safety straps and your safety bars that will catch the weights if you fail. Well, I finally gave up and got myself one. As you can see, as evidenced by this trail of weights. So the question for today is, can you safely, solo, assemble one of these uh, by yourself? I guess that's what solo means. Let's find out. So the first step is to get it from where they drop ship it down at the curb up to the house. Uh, there are two companies that have the most reviews out there. One is called Titan, the other one's called Rogue. Rogue has the better reviews, Titan's a little bit cheaper and ships for free. Rogue charges shipping, but they currently have a deal if you pay $200 for the shipping of the rack, uh, everything else ships for free. If you have weights, that can really add up. So we put this in the corner of our bedroom and uh, the initial assembly is pretty easy. Uh, they all goes together with the same half inch bolt and um, the side panels, um, just a simple cre couple crescent wrenches, and that's all you need. Initially I tried to assemble this with the two halves on the ground and then uh, hoist the whole thing up as a whole. As you'll see here in a minute, that didn't work very well. This steel is really heavy and uh, one person, uh, this is where the solo part breaks down. I, I tried to do it and uh, the bottom slips a little bit and I couldn't quite get high enough even with a little ladder. So it just didn't feel safe. So I uh, took it apart, propped it in the corner and then reassembled it there and, and then that worked okay. I was a little bit worried that the bottoms, most people when they put a gym together they use padding on the floor so as to protect the weights and the uh, floor, but um, I have some pretty solid tile that I put in last year and uh, after pushing this thing around a bit I concluded that I don't really need it. Uh, I can do the There's three exercises you do with this the press the squat and the deadlift and the dead deadlift you usually do on the ground But by using the safety strap I can do those just off the ground and and not bother the floor So why you might ask yourself would someone put a power rack in their bedroom? Well I did get the wife's permission and last year we tore down a wall that had these two smaller rooms and made it into one big room. So we had plenty of room. Uh, but the main reason we did it was out here. It's proximity to the entertainment center. So this way I can combine something healthy like strength training with something unhealthy like watching TV. So watch a little TV, do a little weights. Uh, works out well for me anyway. Um, about the only tip I can give you is those rubber weights stink when they're fresh out of the box. That's why I have them airing out on the porch there. Any other tips or uh, strength training advice, you should go to the internet. There's lots of good experts out there and I'm still a rookie learning how to safely do this. So that'll be it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.